How's it going guys? My name is Voss and if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We are back at it with another Tesla video and I'm here with my friend Andrew and we just got done reviewing his 2020 BMW M850i. So if you like that or you're into that kind of car, go ahead and check that out. But today, uh, you have never been never, in, first never, never been in anything like this, right? So, I've never even been inside a Tesla uh, okay, until so, now. <laughs> so this is a 2018 um, Tesla Model 3 Performance. Now, as of 2020, these are like $55,000 for the performance. Uh, has a about a 315 mile range, 0 to 60, they rate it at 3.1 seconds. Um, mm. It can drive itself, you have to add some options in there. Um, but other than that, it's. Um, I wanna kinda explain to you quickly how to use this and then get a sounds good to me uh, yeah because there, there's there's a lot but it's not it's not super overwhelming or anything but um then we can do like a first impressions drive what do you think cool sounds good all right so you know for starters um notice how there's no dash or anything mm -hmm. like it's all right here yep. so they're go with the newer ones like the model three and then the new model y they're going to the single center display and it's like it's nice because it's like super smooth and whatnot but other than that you pretty much you see your gas and your brake all or your accelerator excuse me like all that stuff here mm -hmm. you can see your tire pressure you can see how much you've driven the charge and stuff um and then you pretty much can control like do you feel comfortable with like your like these guys right here your mirrors and stuff um no. <laughs> so, so if you need to change those things, that one's mechanical, but uh -huh. like those two, right? Mm -hmm. You hit the mirror Doesn't button good. and it's literally just like you scroll up and, oh, one second. Let's say I go to left. You scroll like up and down for up and down Dang. and then left and right. So these two buttons are this, like- This controls the right one? Uh, no, so you'll click that and it's still it'll still be that one. Oh, gotcha. This one right here. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. So like that left button controls both. So you can go ahead and set those up to what you need. They're good. They're good right there? Yep. Okay. So like, other than that, like it's cool because it's like, that and then you can change the steering wheel like you can go in and out up oh. and down yeah you can go in and out oh, okay there's a lot of things that you can do so i like everything in the car is pretty much controlled by the screen or by those buttons mm -hmm. so that's kind of cool um but other than that i mean uh it's got it's got a backup camera you can access it's got cameras around so like it's got a dash cam and it's got some parking cameras um it has a single air vent so you can control that with with just pretty much some buttons on the screen I'll turn that down so we can hear, you can hear a little better. But uh, what do you think? Yeah, that's it's that's a cool. that's the sixty seconds gist. Yeah, of, of and this, this car. reminds me of like changing iPhone settings. If that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, right when I yeah. you pulled up, I was like, I feel like felt like I was in the settings on my iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, other than that, it's super easy, like easy to drive. If you have the app, you can use that. If not, you can use the key card. You put the key card here. You put your foot on the brake. Um, and then you hit the stock all the way down for drive in for park all the way up for reverse and then you know that's pretty much it so go ahead and put it in drive yep and just roll forward get about 15 miles an hour and then let your foot off the accelerator i want to show you regenerative braking which was what this has oh yeah geez. so you really it's kind of cool, right? So you yeah. don't really need to use your brakes a whole lot. I've gotten, if you get comfortable with the car, you can line it up to where you can coast and slow down and just throttle that accelerator mm -hmm. and then hit your brakes at the end to actually stop. But yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. And then to do self-driving, if you're out on a, on a lane somewhere and um, you, you'll you see a little indicator right here that is a steering wheel, if that is showing, you can hit the stock down twice and then that initiates uh, the autopilot. So that way it'll actually drive itself. But it, you still have to like touch the wheel and you still mm -hmm. have to be responsive, but we'll, I'll, I'll show you like how it like changes lanes cool. and stuff. But yeah, other than that, let's let's get out on the road and I'll, right. I'll, I'll show you, yep. Yep, you should be good to go now. Yep, <laughs> so, so it takes a little a while to get used to. And then yeah, just go. And that's crazy how it just slows down like that. Yeah, the regen braking, is, it's one of my favorite features on here. All right. Yep. And the braking is crazy. Yeah, it's pretty good. Do a little off the accelerator. Oh, I got for these sunglasses on. Yeah. <laughs> you can give it a little bit if you want. Yeah. It's it's pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It feels weird. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't shift and there's no engine sound. So like all you hear is just the the noise outside and then like a whine from the car. You see how that popped up? That means oh, self driving yeah. now is or the okay. autopilot's enabled, really. 
Should I go straight? I don't yep, go know. straight. Okay. I didn't remember. Yep, no, you're good. Yeah, you can punch it if you want. Yep. Oh, it got up really quick. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's fast. It didn't feel like I was at 55 when I got to 55. Yeah, yeah, we we don't speed on the road, so the, <laughs> the most we do is 55. Yep. But like getting up to 55 feels really quick in this, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Especially oh, that cop's gone. <laughs> yeah, I think he's, he's no longer there. But... but yeah, what do you think? This is weird. <laughs> Just like in your M850, like it won't turn back into the lane, but like let's say you veer a little bit, it'll vibrate the wheel mm -hmm. to like let you know, hey, it's oh, time, yeah. yeah, you know, it's time yeah. to kick back in. But like you see how that's on right now? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put this down twice. You can let your hands off, just keep it close by. It'll tell you every now and then just to like apply pressure, but essentially it will more or less do this. Just just trust it. <laughs> just hard to say. So now it says apply some slight force, so you just kind of want to like barely touch the wheel a little bit when it says that. So okay. you really have to be aware, but it is driving itself. Where does it, oh, it's a wait until, I didn't see where it said like apply slight force. It, it'll say, but when we go up to this roundabout, I, see how it says that? Just apply a little bit. I would brake right now, get off self-driving, because I don't know fully how it does at roundabouts yet, mm -hmm. but I'll show you some turns and stuff, but Which yeah, it goes straight. Okay. Um, but yeah, that was, that was self-driving. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, I don't want to trust it all the way. <laughs> and a lot of people have, a lot of people struggle with just like letting go, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's, oh Dang. yeah, it's, it's that fast. Quick. It's fast. It's, it's hurt, hurts your head kind of fast, <laughs> I think. Like in terms of, you know, electric or not, in terms of like car, how does it feel to you? Like you, you're coming from like the M850. Obviously it's very minimalistic in here in comparison. Yeah, it's just like a whole different car. I don't really know like what to compare it to. Yeah. Oh, it really rolls yep. back, huh? Yeah, so you have to really put your foot on the brake for it to hold, or it'll roll back. Yeah, there you go. Take Man, a, it just doesn't yeah, feel like yeah. you're going. It doesn't feel like you're going fast. <laughs> take like. a take a left up here. Uh, well, we can do we can do a, a stopped stopped session of that. But uh, <laughs> it uh, keep going. Go ahead and go ahead and stop. All right, you ready? Yep. You go all the way to stop. Let this say hold. Yep. All right, punch it. All right. Hey, it just, I don't yeah. feel like it, like I don't feel, it feels like there's no power behind it at all. So, you know, with it being electric, torque's instantaneous. So that torque pretty much just comes on as soon as you mash. Like, you know, in a gas car, you have to like run the RPMs and then there's like a max, mm -hmm. there's like a max portion where you get all the power. And here you get the power as soon as you step on the gas, yeah. or the accelerator, excuse me, so. Uh, this is weird. <laughs> Would this be a decent daily driver? Yeah, not no. bad. <laughs> the other thing I've noticed is, me personally, because you can't hear an engine, you can't hear an exhaust, I feel like you definitely can tell, like, hear more of your surroundings and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, not hearing the exhaust, like, makes me not feel like Go the right power that's on, like, a normal car. Yeah. Well, because like, like it's there when you're, you know, when you're in a car where you're shifting and you can feel the like, you know, the like different portions, mm -hmm. you can time up how fast you're going with the shift points and stuff. Yeah, you're good. But in here, because you just go, yeah, there's there's nothing to it. Yeah, like that's crazy. Does that make you nauseous at all? <laughs> like it makes me nauseous. <laughs> Maybe a little actually. <laughs> you do that enough times, you're like, oh wow, yeah, that is, that is strange. That's weird. That's my. That's how I want to describe this. Weird. <laughs> weird. Because <laughs> you, would you say you you like cars, but you're not like a hard, you're not like the technical. Yeah, you're I'm more not. Like, a, I like cars. I'm not like a huge car guy though. Right. At all. So like th this for you would be more of like uh like coming in just from a different platform. Even as a non-car guy, how, how are you like? What are you experiencing? How are you, how are you feeling in here? Uh, it's it's Take just it right up there. Like, yeah, gotcha. Yep. I don't know though. Like, the only thing I can think of is just weird. Like I don't know if I like it or don't like it. Like I have. But you want to keep trying? It? Like, is it something that you want to keep doing? I don't know. I miss <laughs> my BMW kind of. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, we can go this way. So once you get up, get to about yeah fifty, hit that thing twice. This guy. Okay. So now you're in driving. Watch. Make sure you pay attention to where it says to touch the wheel every now and then. You can let off but it'll take this corner. And I'll actually slow you down just to get the speed limit, but. Yeah, it's gonna be weird taking this corner. Just trust it. 
<laughs> should I? <laughs> I think you should. I think you're gonna be just fine. Oh my god. And then it says apply some light force so you can just, yep. oh. Let, oh, yeah, nah, I... yeah, you apply too much force. Gotcha. So nothing you can do is just touch one of these buttons oh. and then that will usually do it as well. But we can we can loop back around and you can try that corner again. It was doing a pretty good job though. Yeah. Like it, we get to about 50 again right. and um, hit that twice. One more time. There you go. One time is cruise control, two times is autopilot. So I will just actually go a little bit slower so we don't get in front of this guy. But yeah, just... Just trust that it's gonna take this turn. If you say so, not yeah. my car. <laughs> yeah, I mean it, it. It does. It does a pretty good job. Yeah. And then apply some light force. Yep. There you go. That is crazy. Yeah. Just chilling. Yeah. And um, I should probably go. Yeah, you can. So if you, yeah, if you, um, if you go one by one, it increments a mile. If you full swipe, it does five mile okay. increments stuff so yeah that's pretty much your first, that's the that's gonna pretty much wrap up the first impressions what what do you think i like my bmw more for sure <laughs> I, I need i i think i need more time with this car to like really fall in love with it to like learn like exactly how it works like what yeah. i can do like as far as like letting it drive itself getting yeah. used to the turns you just go straight up here all that stuff it's 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 different i think it's uh, something i'd fall in love with if i like actually had in use for a while it it i would say like a lot of people have like i've you know done a lot of reviews a lot of people have checked this car out and most of the time they're just surprised it can do what it can do if that if that makes mm -hmm. sense like they're not expecting the yeah like <laughs> that like most people don't expect that to be able to do that or like it takes turns it can handle well in terms of like a car it still has really good tires it has a really good suspension system it can take corners really well um but you know it's not it's not your m850 because it's way more simplistic in here mm -hmm. but i would say i've grown to really like the simplicity yeah the first thing I, the first thing i thought when i got in was just it's crazy how simple it is on the inside yeah it's, i did it's, not expect that and i think the other thing most people like question is like how about the charging and like all that stuff when most time these superchargers are tied to like Meyer and other shopping places so you could like charge it and then go get groceries and then you know be okay I took this on a road trip to Michigan we had to stop to get some snacks and then it was more or less 80% charged by the time we got done in 25 Dang. minutes or so so it wasn't like a wasn't a huge like disadvantage to not you know not having gas and stuff take a left up here how much is it to like fully charge it like time wise oh uh, no cost wise so that's a good question. I don't have the full number for that only because this car came with free supercharging for life. Oh. So when we go to the charging station, we don't have to pay anything. Uh, it's tagged onto the car. That's crazy. I I will look, I'll put the number here somewhere, but I I'm pretty sure it's less than gas, so. Yeah, I thought it was just like a couple dollars maybe. All right, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this first impressions drive. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button. We got an opinion of somebody who drives a very I would say a very sporty BMW and getting him in something very different, I feel like, on the spectrum. <laughs> it like is weird. Like very different. So you would say you'd say it's something you would want to keep exploring? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'd need more time with it to like drive it around and just like get fully used to it. Yeah. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Um, smash hit the, it. Yeah, yeah smash <laughs> just, 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 just as hard as you can. Um, but uh, share this. It really helps me out a ton. And thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later.